Let's see how to fix this problem on a PC. First, open any browser you like. I'm going to use Firefox. Go to this link and scroll down until you see First Person Plus Extra Mode. Now, go to Files and scroll down until you see the Cheap Engine version and EXE version. We will be using the Cheap Engine version for this, so click on Manual Download. You have to make an account if you don't have one and download it. It is 123 megabytes. Let us download it. I will fast forward this portion. Once it has been downloaded, you can open it. Here is the zip file and here are some of the files you need. First, open the first folder and you can see these three files. I will open my game folder and make a new folder named Backup. I will open the folder in a new window so it will be easy to manage. Now, I will go to this Easy Anti-Cheat folder and make a backup of this folder. I will select the game executable grw.exe and make its backup. I will also select the third DLL file here, Shaders Container Engine, and back up this file too. Here are three files which are now backed up. Now, go back to the game folder and see that these three are backed up. Next, go to the zip file and extract easy anti-cheat folders into the game folder. Replace the files when asked. Now, go back and just extract jarw.ct. This is the cheat table file, so we will need to have cheat engine installed on our computer. Go to this link and download cheat engine. Once it has been downloaded, simply open it, click next, and you can decline the optional offer. Now, wait for Cheat Engine to be installed. It will take a few minutes. Once it has been installed, launch the application to see if everything is working fine. You can skip the tutorial. The engine is running fine, so I will close it now. Minimize everything. And let's open grw.ct first with cheat engine as you can see i have opened the grw.ct file now i will be opening the game so let me fast forward this portion i am in the game now and i will cancel all the online options and start the campaign mode I will fast forward again until I am in the game. As you can see, I am in the game now. To set up the first person mode, go to Options, then go to Keyboard and Mouse, then scroll down to Key Mapping and go to the player item. Scroll down, select Flare Gun, and you can just choose any key like I am using the Caps Lock button. After it has been aside, you can go back into the game. To activate first person mode. You have to go to cheat engine, click this computer icon. 
Select Ghost Recon Wildlands and open it. Click Yes and then click in the box and click on Enable First Person Mode. First Person Mode is now enabled. You can go to the game and see the First Person Mode has been successfully installed. You can press Caps Lock or whatever key you assign to switch between First Person and Third Person Modes. So that was it. Let us enjoy some first-person mode footage. Let's go. Taking the bike. Move out. I'm on your six. Hey gamers, I've got some shocking news, 98.2% of you who love my content aren't subscribed yet, face screaming in fear. If you don't want to miss out on the latest game guides, exclusive tips, and the hottest updates, hit that subscribe button now and turn on notifications. Bill, imagine being the first to know all the tricks and secrets that could take your gaming to the next level. Don't let others get ahead of you. Join our community and stay in the loop. Let's level up together.